Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, we are going to venture into the depths of Area Zero in the Paldea region and discuss Paradox Pokemon. Brand new Pokemon, supposedly from the past and future, forms of Pokemon that we already have in the decks. These were a big surprise to anyone who did not follow the leaks up to the release of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And now that we have the games and are speculating about the DLC, there are a lot of questions about the Paradox Pokemon as a concept, what really are they? Are the answers we get in the games legitimate or is there more to this story? That's what we're going to discuss here. We're going to theorize about what we might see in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC regarding Paradox Pokemon. Let's jump right into things. Now, based on the lore in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet from the Scarlet and Violet books that we received down in Area Zero, the things we learned about Heath and his expedition down into the depths of the crater, Professor Sada and Toro and what they're trying to achieve with the time machine. All of this gives us a ton of lore about the Paradox Pokemon. The fact that some of them in Scarlet were pulled from the past and then the ones in Violet were pulled in from the future. Their designs, their futuristic forms that are very robotic, the ancient forms that feel like evolution that hadn't fully developed just yet. They are incredible and I absolutely love almost all of them. Maybe Brute Bonnet and a couple others are misses for me, but they're incredible. Some of their designs are awesome and the lore that we receive about just how long ago these Pokemon existed, billions of years ago in some regards, is fascinating. But ever since the games have come out and Pokemon fans have dug through the lore, we have come up with a couple questions. Specifically, the validity of a lot of the claims made in these writings. Are some of these Pokemon really from a billion years ago? If that, is, if some of these Pokemon resemble modern items with modern Pokeballs and, and other things, how does all of this compute? And then we go to the name, Paradox. These Pokemon shouldn't exist. They're not the same as fossils where we find these ancient remains of Pokemon and through the technology in the world, they're able to revive these fossils into living, breathing creatures. We've had that since generation one with Kabutops and others, Aerodactyl. That's already a thing. We've had Pokemon from the past. We've had artificial Pokemon, Genesect and Mewtwo, Pokemon that use the DNA of ancient Pokemon to then replicate and create a new creature. This is all territory that the Pokemon games have covered, but Paradox Pokemon are their own thing. And some people in the community have begun to speculate that maybe these Pokemon never actually existed at all or won't exist in the future. Something is strange about Area Zero, the influence that the third legendary that we do not know about yet has on these people, Professor Sada and Turo, Heath, and how these Pokemon came to be. Based on the lore and based on the information in the games, it is a time machine that is bringing these po capturing these Pokemon in the past or the future and then bringing them back to the present. When you engage in battle with Sada and Turo, you actually see a Master Ball catch a Pokemon as it comes through the time machine, a brand new Paradox Pokemon that they went and got. And based on the Pokemon you can catch in Area Zero after you roll credits, they have been bringing these Pokemon through for a very long time. There are a lot of them. It's a time machine in the lore, but is it really? Or is there something going on with imagination and the corrupting of dreams by the third legendary that we have yet to have revealed to us? Now, before going any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. Check out the join tab, see if the perks interest you, and if you want to go the extra mile and support me, that is also always greatly appreciated. Now, there are some pieces of the story in Scarlet and Violet that would lead you to believe that somehow, some way, the third legendary is influencing the creation of these Pokemon. That it's not that these Pokemon are being pulled from another time into our world, but that these Pokemon's sheer creation, their existence, is created through the minds of people like Heath, who dreamed up these Pokemon and then was able to make them a reality in Area Zero. Some of the quotes we get from Heath and others about their expeditions into the Great Crater of Paldea lead you to ask a couple of questions. We don't see 
any of these Paradox Pokemon in some entries by some people in the game. Yet others, like Sada and Turo, were able to bring these Pokemon in to our present time. Clavel, who seemingly went down into Area Zero with one of these expeditions, was shocked to learn that Sada and Turo had successfully gotten the time machine working and had actually brought a Pokemon through. This would lead you to believe that he had never seen any of these Pokemon, but if Heath, when he went down into the Great Crater, long ago and was able to find these Paradox Pokemon and eventually bring through some of these Pokemon himself, you would assume they would be there. So where did these Pokemon go in the time between? They got away, they got out, and they just dwindled in numbers as the years went on. Or maybe these Pokemon never existed in the first place, and when Sada and Turo began using their creation to bring Pokemon seemingly from the past and the future, since they were using some of Heath's journal entries, some of his writings, the things that he thought up and thought could exist, the third legendary, which was very clearly also influencing Sada and Turo before they passed and influenced the ideas programmed into the AI versions of them, maybe they brought in these Pokemon from the mind of Heath and not from the past or the future. So now these Pokemon exist, even though they never existed before. They're not real, but they are real. Hence, the paradox. Now, if you've watched this channel for a long time, you will know that one of the things that I like to point to with Pokemon lore is the wording. The Pokemon company is very specific, both in marketing for games, pre-release and post-release, and how they show off their world, their lore, their information. Whenever we have Paradox Pokemon discussed on the social media channels of people like Nintendo of America and others, Pokedex entries in the game itself. There are some phrases and keywords that are bandied about with these Pokemon every single time. This Pokemon is thought to have originated in. This Pokemon is believed to be from. Things like this. Words that open up room for you to question the validity of the claims and the full understanding and breadth of understanding of where these Pokemon come from. We have well-established lore in the Pokemon world to this point that dex entries are not always the most accurate things. The, the, the conclusions that professors and researchers come to are based on the best available information to them. It can also be based on myths and legends, things that are not always grounded in reality. So when looking at these paradox Pokemon and the belief that they're from the past and the future, the wording is very suspect, and it leads me to believe that there is more to this story that we're going to have answered in the DLC. This is one theory that's been thrown around in the Pokemon community, has been discussed, and hopefully we'll get an answer this year with the probable upcoming DLC. I did a full discussion on what we might see in the DLC last week. There's a card in the corner right now. You can go check that out. I'm very happy with that video. I think it's a good one. But if we do get this DLC, I expect us to get answers on Paradox Pokemon. And this has prompted a discussion in the community. Is this what we want? What is the better, you know, piece of lore for why these Pokemon exist. Is it cooler that we have Pokemon from the distant future and the distant past? We have Pokemon that are so far into the future that the likes of Gallade and Gardevoir have merged in their evolutionary path to become their brand new form in Pokemon Violet. Or do we prefer that these Pokemon are the creation of imagination and the creation of dreams? And somehow, the third legendary, which we will undoubtedly get revealed to us, is influencing this in some way. The lore is really well placed in Scarlet and Violet. It's not in your face that you have to deal with it if you don't want to, but it's also not so limited that you have to kind of make grand conspiracy theories about it. Pokemon has done an excellent job in their last two games of establishing some lore for the games and for their stories that fans can really dig their teeth into. And if it was up to me, I think there is some appeal to these Pokemon truly being paradoxes, that these Pokemon don't really exist in the past and the future, that this story is not told correctly. There is more to this that we do not know about. There are major pieces to what is going on here that produce a bit of an uncanny valley feeling of I've, I've seen this, something's going on, something's not right here, and I think that would be really cool to explore in the DLC. There's a lot here. There's a lot of 
influence of what this conspiracy theory of imagining these paradox Pokemon and then them becoming real could have for the franchise. But what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments section. Do you hope that these Paradox Pokemon truly are from the past and the, in the present or the past and the future? Or do you hope there's something weirder going on here? Something to really scratch at that Paradox name itch. Something that we're not totally seeing. Let me know down below. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more Scarlet and Violet speculation videos like it in the future, be sure to drop a like and don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you never miss any future content. I've been Linky and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.